have to come to the cross daily. Elijah, he was at the brook and he was he was there and the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening and he drank of the brook. See? He he just he just sat there by the brook. And it doesn't say God was talking to Elijah all the time. Right there, he's just sitting there by the brook. And here in the morning, he wakes up. He, he probably got there toward evening, you know. And, and he just went to sleep. And he woke up in the morning, got him a drink. And here comes this raven. Just dropped some bread down, a little bit of meat, maybe some fish or whatever. And Elijah just starts eating. And then he sits there all day. And he's probably thinking about Moses and, you know, whatever he's thinking about. Hallelujah. And then toward evening time, the sun's setting, he's a little hungry, here comes a raven. That's total dependence upon God. He sat there probably for a whole year. And then the brook dried up. See, it was dried up. Hallelujah. Praise God. It came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. Hallelujah. And the word of the Lord came unto him. Thing. You know, see, the word of the Lord came unto him. The, the Lord revealed his will to Elijah. Hallelujah. See? And when the Lord reveals his will to you, you have it from the Lord. That's his will. I'm standing. Praise God. And it's going to happen. See? And don't be moved to the right hand or to the left hand. Don't be moved. When you know something's God's will, you stand on that. That's what we do. And we always get the answer. Always. The Lord brings what He said He's going to do. He does. See? And it's a witness and a testimony to the earth, to the world, that God is doing what He said He would do for His people. And that is break out of us with that resurrection life, that resurrection power as we die, as we come to the cross and die. Hallelujah. Because all power flows from the cross. You're not going to have unity in the body of Christ just by loving everybody. That's not unity. That is the world's gospel. That's the world's way. That's the new age gospel. The cross is an offense to the world. They hate the cross. They don't want Jesus Christ. Okay? They don't want Jesus Christ. They don't want the Jesus Christ of Nazareth who Pilate said, Behold the man. See? He was all flogged and filled, covered with blood and had a crown of thorns on his head. And he was standing there humiliated and just, just looked like a, just a mangled mass of flesh. And Pilate said, Behold the man. The man. See? And Satan hates man. He hates man. Satan hates man. And so he, 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 wanted, he wanted to kill Jesus. And it, at this time when, Pilate, when Jesus is standing there, Satan's just hating him. Hating him. Just pouring his hatred and his murder out upon Christ. See? And the Lord had all that sin on him, you know. And it was just all right there. All the sin of the world was upon him. And it was just, it, it was just manifest in that, you know, he just, he just offered himself. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise the Lord, man. He did it for us. And then these people come along and say, you got to do something. They're liars. They're liars. They're filthy liars. Stop listening to the liars out there. And believe the gospel. Believe the truth of the gospel that Jesus did it. He did the work. He did it. He's the Holy One, not us. We don't get no credit. He did it. God just says, believe, just believe. <clears throat> if you believe, if you have faith, as a, as a grain of a mustard seed, see, when God says it, we proclaim it, see. And we made a, we made a video about the feed mill, we proclaim that, it's done. And you will see it. The world will see it as a testimony to the goodness and the faithfulness of our God. 
because of what Christ did. Not for my glory, for His glory. Because He's faithful. And we proclaim to the world right now that Jesus Christ is the Almighty God in the flesh. Man, risen from the dead. You New Agers out there, you're trying to be God. You think you're God? You're a liar. Jesus Christ is God Almighty. Jesus Christ, the man. Hallelujah. Glorified, risen from the dead. Hallelujah. See, you can't beat death. You're not going to beat death, I'm telling you. You will not beat death. Death will creep up on you. See? And one day you will be at the end like Voltaire, and you will take your last breath, and you will be crying out for someone to come and help you. And there will be no one there to help you. No one. Except the Grim Reaper. And he will take your soul to hell. Because you refused in your stubborn, arrogant pride to come to Christ and just die. See? And then you get newness of life. Look, look, look. Jesus Christ, God the Son, He left glory. He left the throne and came down here and became a man. The Holy Spirit came in to the womb of Mary, the Virgin Mary. And Jesus Christ was conceived in the womb of Mary. His human body conceived of the Holy Spirit. Mary's egg cell and the Holy Spirit. His human body was pure, holy, perfect, sinless. All of his emotions were 50,000 million times more than the emotions we experience. He experienced it more than we do. His volition, His will, was stronger than our will. He had a soul. Everything that we've gone through in life, He experienced it all. Everything. Everything. But He overcame. Why? Because He went down into Jordan. And Jordan represents the cross. Hallelujah. Dying. And when he came out of Jordan, the Spirit, the heavens opened up, and the Spirit came down in the form of a dove and rested upon him. And came. See, he was already filled with the Holy Spirit when he went down into Jordan. The, the heavens opened up, so John the Baptist, so John the Baptist, so the Elijah could see. And he proclaimed, Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. See, that was what everything from the from the creation led right up to the cross. And Christ came in the fullness of time. He's the express image of the invisible God. When you see Christ Jesus, when you see, oh, that man, that man, that man is other than every other man, every other woman. Nobody, nobody ever compares or comes near to that man. All, if you, if you took every single person on the face of this earth that is, well, there really isn't any, but if, if there were people on the earth who could live holy okay and and be holy with all their holiness and and however they look at it whatever they want to do all of it together would be a filthy menstruous cloth to the father because see it's not Christ it has to be Christ you have to have the holiness of Jesus Christ you have to have the righteousness of Jesus Christ you have to have the sanctification and truth of Jesus Christ. You have to have Jesus Christ. If you don't have Jesus Christ living within you, then you're not born again. Okay? When you do have Jesus Christ living within you, well, what is Jesus Christ? He's a man. But what did he say about himself? And he doesn't lie. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. He that believeth on me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. 
Hallelujah. He is the true and the living God. You have to come to Him. You have to be born again. 